Steve Eiserman had some interesting comments, uh, and, and it frustrated a lot of people, and Twitter was going crazy. Uh, he said, quote, We're still in the rebuilding phase. We're still in a collecting assets through the draft. We're still there. We're not at a point where we feel like, hey, we can really start to go for it, so to speak. We're progressing, and I hope to be there sooner than later. Now, what I took away from this is the balls that Steve Eiserman has, not in a bad way, but GMs typically, you like to kind of, it's a little bit of a white lie. You kind of just be like, you know what? We're, we're making progress. We, we want to take that next step very quickly. Steve Eiserman's one of the only GMs, I think the only GM in Detroit that can get away with saying, no, we're in a rebuild. <laughs> like Troy Weaver, Brad Holmes can't get away with, with what Steve Eiserman did because Steve Eiserman has a resume. He, he, he's he's done it at the highest level being a general manager. So, again, I get why it's frustrating, and, and it's not as quick as people would like, but I take it, and it's not the same sport, but Troy said this, and I think Steve sees it in a similar way. Troy said, when we get there, we want to stay there. We don't mm -hmm. want to just show up and, and vanish immediately. You want to build for longevity. You want to build for something that can be sustained. And I think what Steve's doing is building for sustainability. I, don't, I think people get frustrated that there's not big names being traded for or signed yet. Frazier, she hasn't started. But traded for, making these big splash moves, which I get it. I want Alex to bring it too. I understand. But you can still sign him when he's a free agent, restricted free agent. Do you so think do you this think isn't this over. Is a sign that it's not going to happen with Dabrinkit? I don't know. Like, it, I think it makes so much sense. Uh, but at the same time, with what Steve Eiserman's approach looks like, yeah. maybe he thinks, well, we're not ready for that move yet. Which, I don't agree with that part of it. I don't think there really is a time where you're ready. Yeah. I, I think it's just, hey, when you feel like you're, the, your young talent's taking the next step, you believe in, in your young core guys, go get you know that big fish. Uh, but after seeing that quote, I, I don't know, to be honest with you.